Hi there, I'm Ashley, and this is Fifi. And this video is for all of you pet lovers who are tired of being covered in fur just from giving your pets <laughs> all the love and cuddles they deserve. So if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here. I usually make videos about music and theater. These are really tasty. <laughs> but today I'm going to be talking about some fabrics and also some specific clothing and home items I've found to be either completely pet hair resistant or at least extremely low maintenance. Translation, no lint roller required. And everything is washable. Wow. I've made a blog post with all of the items linked so you can find them easily. And I'm going to have a clickable link in the description box below. Hi, baby. Good girl. Everything is from Amazon and all of the items are women's for the clothing. But if you'd like to see a follow up with some pieces that have worked well for men um, or from other brands, please let me know in the comments below. And if you enjoy this video and find it helpful, please share it with your animal loving friends. This video is dedicated to my two extremely beloved cats, Sasha and Humphrey. For the more than 17 years I was lucky enough to share with these beautiful and loving kitties, I struggled to find nice clothing I could wear at home that didn't get covered in fur. I never wanted to let clothing restrict cuddling, but I got tired of dressing like a bum at home because it made me feel bad about myself. So I tried a bunch of things and what I'm presenting today is the best of what I've found. And I hope that it will work for you if you're in a similar situation. These items and fabrics worked for both the more mild fur concerns of my short haired kitty Humphrey and for the clingtastic coat of my Himalayan Sasha. Um, her white undercoat was like Velcro. Side note, totally worth the fur hassles. And they're also working great with Fifi here, who joined our family very recently. Yeah, and we're so grateful that Frosted Faces rescued her. They're a great organization, and I'll link to them as well. Good girl, Fifi. So I'm mainly focusing on comfy, stretchy, knit or woven items, especially for tops. Obviously, really smooth stuff like leather or fluffy stuff like faux fur doesn't collect pet hair, but I'm assuming you're not lounging around your house in head to toe leather most of the time. For clothing, 100% modal has been the most reliable and easiest to find. It's so soft, comfortable, and fantastic for not holding on to fur. I also really love bamboo. It feels and performs similarly great. And 100% wool has also worked really well for me. And in general, 100% of any natural fiber is pretty good, but it's been hit or miss with blends, even when it's only like 5% of a synthetic or if it's like a blend of two natural fibers, it's just inconsistent. 100% um, cotton and 100% linen have been good, but I have more experience for those with bedding. I do have a few new tops that I've gotten that I've worn with Fifi and they've been great for her short haired dog fur coat. Silk would probably be pretty good for fur, but I don't think I'd trust it for claws. And it's also like even washable silk is also a little bit high maintenance for me. So I don't have much experience with silk other than maybe scarves. And side note, heathered colors and patterns are usually better at hiding fur, but I don't really want to hide it because then it just rubs off onto other clothing in your closet or in the laundry. And then you have to get that lint roller back out. <laughs> So we're going to start with clothing and then have some home goods. We're going to have PJs, loungewear, tops, bottoms, dresses, curtains, and bedding. <laughs> and as I mentioned, everything in this video is from Amazon. And prices there do fluctuate, but right now all of the clothing sells for $52 or much, much less. And all of the items, even the velvet curtains, are washable. There are a couple things, um, one skirt and two dresses, that are recommended to be hand washed rather than machine washed, and I'll tell you which ones those are as we look at the individual items. Sustainability has become more of a concern to me since buying some of these pieces, and though I don't know the business practices of the manufacturers, these are good quality items that have lasted well for me, even with quite heavy wear for some. Now, did I ever see a hair on these items? At least for some of them, yes. 
But even after cuddling with Sasha, I could quickly brush what little was there off with my hand, and they always came completely clean in the wash. For me, that's a win. <laughs> And again, this video is not sponsored. These are just pieces that have worked really well for me and that I'd recommend. I hope they work for you too. Okay, first up, pajamas and loungewear. And these all happen to be from the brand Wee Wee, and they're all bamboo. And they have a great selection of other styles and colors too. I love these. I tried a bunch of different brands when I was looking for some presentable pajamas. And these have set up so well to tons and tons of cuddling time and really heavy wear and I got the first pair of the gray ones in 2020 and they've lasted really well so I ordered more of them I got the blue long sleeved ones and then these two um, shorts sets for summer and they are great and I also got these joggers which I actually really love for yoga but they're so comfortable for lounging I don't know that I'd call them chic but they're really comfortable for lounging highly recommend Okay, now we're on to the real clothing. I have basically made like a little capsule wardrobe from a lot of these pieces. You'll see them in the pictures to come. So we're starting with these turtlenecks by Haru. There's also gonna be some short sleeve shirts by Haru because I liked the performance of the turtlenecks so well. And I don't know if I thought I was gonna be Steve Jobs or something, but I ended up buying these in um, <laughs> like, I don't know, what is that, nine different colors? I love these. The Solid colors are 100% modal, and they are just amazing for pet hair performance, and also for looking really nice and being comfortable. I did try one of the tie-dye tops, which is a blend, and it worked pretty well, but not as well as the solid colors. And the t-shirts, so they don't have a fitted t-shirt. That's my only complaint. These are pretty oversized, but these are extremely comfortable, and they also perform very, very well. Next we have athletic tops, which perform extremely well. They're also heathered, so they've got that going for them too. They're not something I would wear out and about really, but they're great for doing stuff around the house. O-Thread brand. So this company actually makes several different styles and they make tons and tons of colors. Although if I were choosing between a similar shirt from Haru or from O-Thread, I'd probably go with Haru because they're 100% modal, whereas these O-Thread ones are 95% modal and 5% spandex. I don't have as much experience cuddling with Sasha, so she would often like cuddle up in my arms as I worked at the computer or, you know, we went through grad school together. <laughs> and, like, so what I can say for sure is that these were at least extremely low maintenance for Sasha's hair in that I don't remember seeing hair on them and they didn't have problems with washing. And I just noticed that the listing recommends hand washing, but I've never actually hand washed them. I've always machine washed, so that's been fine for me. I've had them, I bought the first crop tanks in 2018 and I wore them very heavily for dance classes and then also as outfits sometimes and they're still going really strong. Okay, our next top is a bit more specific and it's definitely more fast fashion quality so I'm not sure if I would recommend this but I thought it was pretty fun it's 100% nylon and it's totally fine for cat hair I liked it with the camisole or underneath a dress like you see here and you'll see that dress later on by the way okay next we have this really cute faux suede moto jacket it's for some reason the listing says suede but it's not the tag is polyester and spandex um, so that's a little confusing, but they have some nice color choices. It's got nice stretch in it, and I really, really found it comfortable around the house. I've tried to wear like a leather jacket around the house before for my cats, and that wasn't very comfortable. But this one, since it's stretchy um, and soft, is great. Now this one, unfortunately, I did not get to test with Sasha, but I did test it with Humphrey, and it was totally fine with his fur. You might be able to tell from the pictures, but I've lived quite a few places since buying some of these items, so I've had some different needs. Okay, now we're on to pants. First we have these wide-legged ones that come in both ankle and full-length options. They're made of nylon and spandex, and I don't find the fabric content to be particularly beautiful, but I love the style. These are so comfortable. They are so durable, wearable clean like they stay clean um, so I would actually really recommend them if you're looking for something like this um, because they're so practical okay next up are these snow pants actually they're like fleece lined snow pants but they 
look pretty cool. I got these when I was living in New York and I wore them all the time in the winter. So that was back in 2018 and I've continued to wear them. I wore them all the time in our house this year because it is cold in our house now. These are made of nylon and spandex and like I said, they're fleece lined. And I haven't found the fleece to get very furry either. A lot of other fleece does get furry for me, but maybe it's not exposed that much. So, okay, I bought mine in 2018. I liked them so much that I wanted to order more. I tried to order more in the fall of 2021 and the fit was different. So I don't know if you order these ones, if they'll work for you the same way. I returned the ones that I reordered and I'm just hoping that mine last for a lot longer. So far they're going really strong and like I said they've had pretty heavy wear. All right, on to the wide-legged jeans. These ones are really, really comfortable and very cute. I was looking for something high-waisted primarily. I really like high-waisted stuff since I have a long torso. And I tried a few pairs from this brand, including the alternative pair I've listed here that's very similar in look and cut. I just liked the blue ones better. So even though the ones that I kept are out of stock, you can still get these other ones that are similar. And they've worn extremely well for me. They weren't expensive. I think they were between $20 and $30 when I bought them. They seem to be very well made and more practical than I actually was afraid they might be when I first tried them. So these wide leg trousers are Mm, more like a fast fashion quality and I'm not completely sure I'd recommend them unless you're buying something specifically for pet fur which they are completely great for. I bought the full length ones I think that's all they had when I bought them because it was early 2020. I just find that they're too big for my frame they just kind of swamp me and maybe the ankle length would be better but again the quality was just not quite as good as some of the other things I'm showing here. So I try to thrift stuff that's better quality just so it's more affordable and also more sustainable. But that can be hard when you're trying to find something specific or that works for cat hair, especially since you can't return stuff. Okay, now we're moving on to shorts. And these ones are really cute. They are 100% polyester. They're great for cat hair, but they are probably more of a fast fashion quality. But I bought those in 2017. I've worn them a lot and they've lasted really well. Okay, so these biker or workout shorts are polyester and spandex and they're great for cat hair. I didn't really lounge in these or wear them as an outfit. I wore them for um, dance classes. And actually in that picture you can see that's the um, tank top that we talked about earlier, the crop top. That was my like dance uniform. I was dancing for a few hours several times a week. So they've had a lot of wear and they've done extremely well. I got those in 2018. Okay, time for skirts. So this first little skater skirt is polyester and spandex. I'd say it's fast fashion quality, but it's great. I really wanted a, a black skirt like this, and this was the only one I could find that worked with cat hair. So this was one that was, I would say, very low maintenance, like brush off a tiny bit of cat hair. So now the series of tulle skirts. I got these in early 2019. I, I guess I was just really obsessed with tulle skirts then. They are great for cat hair. So tulle is, is polyester. By the way, these this is the skirt that recommends hand washing. I've never actually washed these. We'll break and we'll awake to stroll around a lovely lake. Okay, so this last skirt is also polyester. Kind of a fast fashion quality too, but it's pretty durable and it's definitely good with cat hair. And it's fun if you're looking for something this style. I also have it in another color. I wore that as a costume. So this first dress, I love it. <laughs> Except I don't love the fabric content. Um, it's polyester and spandex and it feels a little cheap. It doesn't really look cheap, I don't think. I think the polka dots probably are the nicest looking. I first bought it in 2018, I think, in the red, and then I later bought it in the black and white polka dot and in navy, and because because it wore so well. During the pandemic, I wanted a couple other dresses I could wear around the house that were so easy to put on and no fuss with the cats, and these ones are great. The only thing I would say is you have to watch claws sometimes. Um, so, but if you do get a snag, you kind of can't see it. <laughs> so, so it's a very forgiving dress and it's really flattering. Moving on to this velvet dress. It's a pretty classic shape, I would say. It's extremely comfortable and um, it's pretty practical. I have it in two colors and I got them for different costumes. 
um, the first one you can see is with Sasha. We did a Christmas series that I can link up in the cards. And it reminds me of the floating lanterns called Globos that they have in Argentina on Christmas Eve. And I spent a lot of time holding her, as you can see in this dress, and it did very well with her fur. I also bought it for a Merida costume, but I've worn it actually for other performances too. It's a very comfortable dress that looks nice too. Touch the sky. Okay, so the next dress is like a sexier dress for me than I usually do because it's like a pencil skirt. And it's really, really comfortable though because it's completely stretchy. Oh, this is one that recommends hand washing. It is polyester. So this wasn't a dress I wore around the house to like hang out or work and cuddle, but it was very low maintenance. It did really, really well with just being around cat hair. And the other dress in this picture is our next one, also graduation <laughs> at home because it was 2020. But this one I did wear around the house more, I would say. This one also recommends hand washing. It's made of polyester and elastane. This one is very, very well made. It's nice fabric and um, it's, it's very heavy weight though. Might be good for an office situation where, you know, there's like air conditioning and stuff, but you go outside and you want to be sleeveless. <laughs> okay, and I added a bonus, an apron. Unfortunately, this one is currently unavailable, but if you just search for a vinyl apron or a waterproof apron, there's a whole bunch. It's actually really nice to have it be waterproof and it's a soft fabric on the outside and then the inside is where it feels like more waterproof. But I love it because my other aprons, which were probably cotton, would still get hairs on them and you're cooking and that's, you know, gross. <laughs> so, um, so this is a really good option. So now we're moving on to some home stuff. And this was pretty typical <laughs> of what the situation was like. Seriously, we had the best cats ever. And they were with us most of the time that we were home. So anyway, these velvet curtains were great for cat hair. Velvet is so hit or miss with cat hair. Some of it is like, it cannot coexist in my house, even if you have it in a garment bag and you don't put it on until you're outside. <laughs> so, other velvet actually works okay, and this happens to be that great kind of velvet. So if you are interested in velvet curtains, I'd recommend these ones. And then we have this really comfy cotton blanket that my cats spend a lot of time on, and it's, it is 100% cotton, never saw a hair on it. We also have cotton sheets, and those do really well with cat hair, and yeah, they, they had a lot of fun on that blanket. And then transitioning from that blanket to another cotton blanket, just didn't get hairy. It got tons of heavy use from the cats. Sometimes it was on the bed, sometimes it was on the couch, and they typically found it. This one is currently unavailable, this little throw. So here's a couple of patterns that are still available from this company. This one's actually a bedspread rather than a throw. But if that look appeals to you, I would recommend that brand. And then finally, we have the linen duvet. This was actually a wedding gift, and I really like it. It does great for cat hair. It looks really nice. It's cozy and fluffy and, I don't know, all the things you'd expect from a linen duvet. So I have not shopped for linen duvets much, but apparently they're often much, much more expensive. Um, this one seems to be very good quality. It's nicely made. It's holding up well. The only issue we've had with it is we have a small spot that's discolored. I think that some of Humphrey's topical stomach medication got on it and that's what did it but that could have happened with anything and now when we look at that spot we always know Humphrey was lying there and that's a nice memory to have thanks so much for watching I hope this makes your life easier or at least that you enjoyed seeing shots of my adorable pets. <laughs> and if you'd like to see more, here are some videos where they're featured, and I'll also link them below. And feel free to subscribe so you don't miss any future ones with Miss Fifi here. <laughs> Good girl. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Say bye-bye. 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 <laughs> Good girl, Fifi. Good girl. <laughs>